Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Power of the Tribe. Welcome home to 20. My next guest, being strong, determined, or relentless all stems from one decision, not to be afraid. Her purpose is to be a chief inspirational officer to help others understand that it's okay to just go for it. Author of The Making of a Maverick, Building Champions in Business and Life. I am really, really, really happy and excited to welcome Marlo Higgins. Marlo, welcome. Maureen, thank you. This is a, just an absolute delight. Thank you for kicking 2020 off with such a powerful bang. We're going to be reaching women entrepreneurs all over the United States. And so thank you for allowing and providing this platform. Oh, thank you. I'm so thrilled you're here today. So, okay, Marlo, the whole summit is about celebrating inspirational leaders and that's obviously why you have been chosen. So what is your secret to living life to the fullest with connection and zest? Ooh, that is such a great question. And it's different for everybody, right? I mean, it's such a unique conversation. And how do you live with zest and, and ferocious tenacity, right? How do we keep one foot in front of the other? And I think, um, you know, for me and being in the thought leader space, it's really knowing yourself, really taking the time to do some deep reflection and understand, I mean, what is your sole purpose? How can you bring that forward in the world that's very peaceful and very easy? Um, one of the anchors that I believe in fully is like understanding how you want to feel every day. And I'm really, really clear that I want to be peaceful energized, empowered, and loved. And those are my anchors. And so I make decisions based on, is that peaceful? Is it energizing? Does it feel empowered? And is there love behind it? And I think just that is just understanding through that self-study, how important that is to me. And, you know, peaceful is being present. And as long as I'm here right now, nothing else, not worrying where I'm going to be in 10 minutes or where I was 10 minutes ago, I'm just allowed to just be in this space and show up big and beautiful. That's about all you can do to have joy. I love that. So you're, you're absolutely saying that you're open and being as opposed to doing, and you're living in your virtual contract of who you are. I am. Yeah. And how many people can really say that? Not a lot. I mean, it's something that if we can share how to do that with more people, I think that's part of the purpose of this summit right here is, is giving people the inspiration to connect with other leaders who have been in your shoes and have gotten to a space that we can teach others how to get there too. And I was just on with some of my speakers and the whole point that there's there's not, there's, it's not a point of scarcity. There's enough abundance. There's, there's, there's enough that we, we get to support each other. And, and it's so much more fun that way than to be against each other. Don't you agree? Oh, absolutely. So one of the core mantras that I developed, and that's kind of how I teach people is through the mantra, right? It's that quick top of mind um, self-talk that you can say. And one of the core mantras is you are your own competition, right? Wake up every day and compete with yourself because you know how to beat the challenger. And if you take that on, you don't have to look at the outside. You don't have to compete with anybody, but you have to work every day to be your very, very best. And when we do that, when we're fully empowered in that space at that level, great things happen. I, I love that. And then and the flip side, that that actually is is your strongest competitor as well. So that's 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 fabulous. Mm, thank you. So this this being a chief inspirational leader or officer, how, how did you come to this path? Right. So great question. I um, you know, I'm an executive coach, right? And I know the business platform. I'm not so much the personal side of you know being a life coach, but I've known business. And that's really, I'm a triple crown entrepreneur. That means I help start a company from a concept or an idea. I help rebrand another self-established company and take it to new heights. And then I launch my own company. And so I say that that's the triple crown, right? And in that space, um, being an executive coach, I really wanted to put my thumbprint on
All right. So, you know, getting back to like why the title of the chief inspirational officer, that's that personal thumbprint of igniting performance in others and inspiring them to make a difference. Now, the one thing I think a lot of people miss out on is motivation is goal driven. Inspiration is vision driven. And so when somebody says, Marlo, I need to be motivated. I say, great, let's set some clear goals. Right. But if we want to be inspired, It's that picture of what's possible that inspires other people to the next level. And so that's really what I do in that space. And that's just my natural God-given essence is to inspire like that picture and make it so clear because the greatest leaders paint the clearest pictures. And by being able to paint a very clear picture of what's possible for somebody when they can't see it for themselves is really the true gift and what comes out through that executive coaching experience when I work with clients. I, I really, I really love that too because when when you're talking about mission and vision, it's really starting to just ask people, well, what do you want? And oftentimes people are so burdened that they 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 don't even know how to ask or or, or be able to tune into that. So that's that's really really great and really awesome. freeing. It is very freeing and it helps kind of break it down a little bit, right? Because, you know, just to say inspiration, that's a big word, but what does it really, really mean? And when we can help people understand that it really is that vision of what's possible, then what now the question changes to what is possible for you? If you could do anything, what would that be? And it like obviously enlightens a whole nother level of thinking and acting and doing and being. So that's where we do it. I love it. I love it so much. So, okay. So mentors, who's been mentors in your life? You know, that's such a good question. I think more than mentors. I mean, I'm always circling and surrounding myself with a really um, big circle of influence. And I think those, that mentorship changes on a regular basis based on what I need at the time. And so to stay cutting edge, to stay fresh, um, there's not one specific person that I can really give all that power to as much as it is really understanding what do I need right now and who can I follow that has that gift that I can tap into and learn from. And so really always being open to, you know, who's out there that can support what it is that I need at this time. And that for me purposely just kind of gets me to that next level. I love that. So again, you're continuing to say you're being open to possibility and also open to coaching so being absolutely a coach to people that are usually very well established when 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 someone's looking for coaching or or has never considered coaching can you just touch on that of what what the the role of coaching and 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 really what that enables people to to move from and to Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, coaching is very, it's, it's the catalyst. If you want to be good at something, you need a coach, whether you're a golfer, like our youngest son was, it was a junior PGA pro and he did 26 PGA junior tournaments when he was younger. And, you know, he didn't just get to being that top athlete in that space without like four different types of coaches. He had a swing coach, a psychology coach, um, a putting coach, So, you know, there's different levels in where we're at and executive coaching is kind of the same way. Um, You know, whether you're life coaching or business coaching, there's different things that are on the spectrum, of course, but in order to get really where you want to go, it's helpful to align with somebody who's not telling you what to do, but that can empower or ask you the right questions to pull it out of you. Because when you do that, you connect at a different level, but sometimes it takes somebody bigger than us or more established or experienced that can do that for us. And that's what coaches do. I mean, they've been there and they've experienced it. And so now it's like passing the baton and saying, Hey, if you have you ever tried this, or have you considered that, and then really empowering that person to uh, to challenge themselves, and that's really the value of it. Great, and the whole opening up and allowing people to really be full of their possibility—that's great. Yeah, yeah, it's unique for everybody. There's not a one size fits all. 
And synergy is everything. When you're aligning with a coach, you got to have synergy, right? You have to know that that's somebody that you can connect with and actually want to follow through with. So, okay, these, we're, we're at a new decade, we're a new year. What's in store, Marla? What's, what's going, what's on your plate this year? Oh my goodness. Okay, so we just launched um, our first course, which was, a, was Catalyst. I mean, we, we did a test pilot and um, really developed it and defined it. It's something that I've been in the coaching space um, since 1989. I've been on my personal brand for the last nine years. Um, prior to that, I you know served on board of directors and I coached and led and mentored other people in that space. But um, you know, really coming forward and creating a course to help profitable and sustainable entrepreneurs is something that we've just gotten off the, the ground. Um, another thing is we're in the vetting process of working with the executives at Good Morning America, and we're bringing success boarding to the national platform. And so. Um, we're having those conversations and we've been going through that vetting process. It's not easy. You have to talk to a lot of different people and um, success boarding is my national platform. It is a self-recognition strategy that I developed in 2007 when I was working with my very first multi-million dollar sales organization. And it was helping people understand how to fuel themselves up and how to self-recognize and so they weren't waiting for somebody else to recognize them. They could wake up every day and put a fire in their own belly. And learning as an entrepreneur, because we don't generally have the bandwidth or other people that do that for us, if you can be empowered to do that for yourself, that is very, very important. And so that's, that's coming to life. Um, we do a, a monthly webinar series. Of course, we've got the one-on-one -on -one high level executive coaching packages. Um, we have a YouTube channel. I mean, the list goes on and on. We have our, our own weekly podcast that we put out 22 motivational minutes with Marla. So I'm just very blessed to have multiple platforms and such a sage team of people who can bring that into the world and help connect other people to these resources that are completely complimentary. I love it. So are you saying TV show? I am. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying a segment on Good Morning America. So as they talk about resolutions and new beginnings and things, um, that's where our space will be in a segment of the Good GMA show, Good Morning America, and talking about it and sharing what the strategy can do for, for people at multiple level, levels, whether you're in the school system, in your community, at your church, on a corporate level, building teams, or being in a, you know, an entrepreneur. It's one that is quite universal, but very powerful. I'm so excited for you. Thank I'm so excited you. for us too, and how many people you're really going to get to reach. That's wonderful. Yeah, we're very blessed. Okay. So, so we'll continue having more fun, uh, and, and who knows, maybe it'll even be from, from the studio. So we're again going to be having, after the summit, we are going to be launching our Power of the Tribe Welcome Home 220, where I'm taking my women on a year-long journey of self-discovery. And the analogy is that you, um, friendship, friendship is not a small piece that in your life, it's, it's like a home. And then each room in the home represents a different component of the friendship in your life. So we'll be having virtual movie nights. We'll be breaking bread and cooking in the kitchen. Some of the authors are going to come back and maybe do a book reading and just lots and lots and lots of fun. You'll come back and maybe join us for some kind of segment. And I'll leave that up to you, whatever you want that to be. That's, that's awesome, Marie. And I love, again, I mean, just the idea of listen to you inspiring people to want to be part of something like that is just powerful. And women need that, right? We need that um, camaraderie with other like-minded spirits because it can be lonesome, right? And especially, you know, if you are an entrepreneur or a woman in business, our challenges are a little bit more unique. And um, we do need to love and support each other. And I'm grateful that you're building a community that understands the power of that. And, and again, when it comes to, to the tribe, we have, we have a saying that, you know, when a woman loses her tribe, she loses her shine. But when we come together, we shine brighter. And that's what it's all about. It is. Absolutely. Yeah. Power in numbers and creating a movement. Very, very powerful. So I'm so glad you came on today. I'm so thrilled to see what's going to unfold for 2020 and get to see you on the big, small screen. And I'm 
just thank you for coming and sharing some time with us. We really, really appreciate it. Thanks, Maureen. It's been a delight. See you soon. Bye, Marlo. Bye-bye.